Sometimes you need to make part of an audio file silent or add silence to a file or reverse the audio. We're going to cover all three of those topics in this tutorial. We're going to work with these three files over here. You can track down the Gettysburg 1 inside the Working Files Narrations. You can go get the Instrumental Mix inside Music. Just too hard to find Instrumental Mix. And you can get the Noises Multiple Approaches inside the Noises folder. Noises Multiple Approaches there. So those are the three files we're going to work with. We're going to start with Noises Multiple Approaches. This has some audience noise in it before this live recording begins. I'm going to increase the volume to make it more obvious so you can hear it pretty clearly. Now here's the audience noise. We want to get rid of that. We want to make it silent. I want to select from this spot just before the music begins to there, and I'm going to zoom a little bit tighter so I can get a really good selection there right up to the edge of the beginning of the music here. And this will be kind of abrupt. The music will start suddenly, and you're wondering, you know, before we've used the fade in and fade out at the beginning of a piece, and here we really can't because the piece is already started, and the fade out will apply to the silence. I'll show you a little trick in a second. So we want to make this silent two ways. You can simply drag this adjust amplitude control to negative infinity. As you drag down, you'll see it's going to negative and then finally pops to negative infinity. And there you've made it silent. And we'll zoom all the way out and we'll have silence there before it begins. Boom, like that. I'll undo that. You can also use the silence effect. So the silence effect is in the effects menu. Click on effects and there's silence. You click that and boom, you've done the same thing. You've knocked it down to negative infinity. Same process as before. Now, I told you about this little fade in, fade out. That applies only to the beginning of the file, not inside the file here, the several seconds in. But there is a thing called a favorite. And I'll talk about favorites when I talk about effects. But if you look under favorites, you'll see something called fade in and fade out. So that allows you to apply a fade in or fade out within a file. Okay, that's how you make something silent. How about adding silence? Let's go to this instrumental mix here by double clicking on it. This thing starts abruptly, like that, and ends abruptly. Go all the way out, go to the end here, and just. It starts and ends abruptly. We want to fade it in. We want a little bit of silence before and after it. Typically, if you make a CD, you need a little bit of a break between the cuts, and it's a good idea to have a little bit of silence built into your piece. Press the Home key. This time, I do want to make the fade in in advance, because you'll be able to see how this works. So I'm going to fade this thing for a few seconds. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit to the beginning. I'll fade it in for, let's say, oh, three seconds or so. And I've got that cosine fade that I like to use. And you can drag it up or down to adjust the nature of it. So I kind of like that shape of it. You can hear how it works. So it already has a little bit of silence at the beginning already, so you know you might be thinking, why bother adding it? But I just want to show you how this works. You need to put the current time indicator to the very beginning. Press the Home key. And now you want to insert silence. It's kind of confusing. You'd think that silence would be an effect, too. You'd be able to see silence there. So why can't we insert silence using that little guy there? Well, that just makes something silent. We need to insert silence. And so you'd think that would be in the effects menu, but it's not. It's in the Edit menu, which may throw you off a little bit. So when you insert silence, go to edit, and then down here it says insert. And it has two things that are about inserting entire files someplace. Insert a file into a multi-track session, and insert a file into a CD layout. So it is kind of odd that inserting something into a file is in the same menu, but nevertheless, there it is. There's a dot, 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 which means you're going to open up another menu here before we proceed. So there's the new menu. It just says, how much silence do you want to add? In this case, we've got one second selected, which is a, a good amount. We're going to put one second on silence ahead of this fade in. Now we've added that one second, and so there'll be this one second silence, and then it'll gradually fade in, which is a helpful way to start a piece. I'm going to go to the end by pressing the end key, and I'm going to zoom in on the end a little bit, maybe about this far into the end. The whole piece is 321, so I want the little fade out to be maybe three seconds, so I'll drag this thing to about 317 or so, 317, 8. That makes it a three second one. There we go. And I'm going to add some silence at the end of this one. So again, I'm going to go to Edit, Insert, Silence, make it a second again, and then add a second of silence. And it's stuck the way over on the right-hand side. I'll drag over. You can see it again. Now you need to be careful when you are working with this, or you need to just be aware that if you have your current time indicator within a section that you don't want to add silence to, just be aware that wherever that current time indicator is is where that silence is going to go. So if I go Edit, Insert, Silence now, 
say insert a second of silence, it's going to go like this. So it'll be this chunk of nothingness where there should be music. So I'll control or command Z to undo that. Okay, we've talked about making something silent and inserting silence. How about reversing audio? That's kind of fun to do. So I'm going to go to the beginning of this piece here. I'm going to take this whole section here, oh, about 15 seconds, 20 seconds, and it sounds like this. I'm going to reverse it. It's going to sound like, well, maybe an old Beatles album. This way, this is an effect. It's effects reverse right next to the silence one. Effects reverse. That's what it sounds like. So you can imagine taking that reverse bit of audio and laying it on top of something else, mixing it together or something like that. They kind of create a special effect. And that's kind of fun. Notice when I drop this effects down, it says silence, reverse, and invert. Invert takes the waveform and flips the waveform in case it's out of phase. You'll rarely need to do that, but just be aware that's what invert means. Invert is not the same as reverse. Reverse makes something go backwards. This just inverts the waveform in case there's a phase issue. Let's just talk about what it's like to reverse a spoken word. Switch over to the Gettysburg Address here. Here's this famous beginning. Four score and seven years ago. Let me increase the volume so you get a better feel for this. There you go. I'm going to reverse that now that we've selected it. So go effects, reverse. Let's see what that sounds like. Or I guess there ain't us narrow so. There you go. Kind of a fun little option to have if you want to mess with your audio. So that's how you make something silent, insert silence, and then put parts or all of a file into reverse in Audition.